for today. I'm going to be opening up Pokemon Battle Academy um, box. So, let's take a look. So, first, let's, so first let's take a look at these Pokemon cards. This is good, guys. But I don't want to answer. Advanced. Yeah, you ready to play? Yeah. And that's just for more people that like Pokemon cards. Now we can lay it up there. We're going to get this one. Get out. If you're wondering how much. Pikachu deck. Oh man, the one picks up. Let's take a look inside. So I'm gonna move all of this. Leave the Pokemon cards. This is heads, this is tails. But this thing is my favorite part to do. And then you so like, let me put them back in the boxes. So, like, I'll give you a thing for why and the black part, the black, well, we need the black part. I don't know if I'm going to put 
this one too. Oh, the fairy. Wait, wait a second. Okay. So put that. So I'll put this part in the box. Be right back and throw this stuff out. So I put it. So put it right. Like, put it right here. That's how you use that. So now you might wonder what the number to four. Um, I I don't know. So okay, now I'll explain that to you in the next video that might be coming up soon. So stay tuned to the channel, and then about about next week I'll tell y'all what that's for. So that might be thinking probably what's the point of being selfish. So you know, so Eevee's a B, a B Pokemon card. So Eevee B, Eevee B, Eevee, Eevee, Eevee B. So the same is only twenty dollars. You can get the same card. And then. So, this thing. Uh, this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, everyone can get it. Now, what? So, what do you do with this? Well, so if you don't, if you, if you choose a certain Pokemon card, but you don't, but you don't want them to beat you, you flip it twice and see. So you ask them, which one would you like? Like this one, or that one. they choose one, and then you flip it with your finger like this. So put, so put, the, so put the, the two fingers that you snap with. Put it like, so you put this in front of you, so you can see the back. So you see the back white like that, and then put, and then use your pointer finger, put it at the bottom, and then flip it. And then it's on this one. So whoever chose that one, they get hey. that. Can you take your unicorn out there? I might be wondering if this is for, okay, so it's a game thing. We can scan a QR code and do all that. Yeah. And then, these, what are these? Uh, yeah, they're directions. They're directions, you got three of them. If you don't have any of these items, uh, it, like, if you go home and then you can't find those, try to look in the bag or something. Or, like, like if you lost them, because it came, because it came without it, as the person there, my my work, um, I was like, where's my other side? And I was looking back up. Oh, yeah, here they are. So, this is so, so now I'm going to be talking to you about this. Let me know what this is for. Let's see, so someone chooses the side. They put back on such a screen time. And then, they choose which, which side, which side they want to be. They, they take out the Pokemon card and then put it on the where it says bench. Okay, and the bench is all the way right here. And then, so you would. So, so sit it down. So it looks like this. And so they choose their prize card. So, so whoever loses, so whoever loses, they have to give them a Pokemon card. Whoever, so prize card that like like the, that they would give you 
But technically, I used a gift card to do this. You don't have, and she probably, and my mom don't have a Pokemon card, so I guess. We're just, if you if you do have different Pokemon cards, put it in prize right there. Prize cards. So like if I like if I lost, like I, I, like before I lost, I just put a random Pokemon card right there that that I didn't want. That I'd rather have have the other one. So to make a deal that I want that one, and, or or just a random Pokemon card, set it in the prize. Card, card, you give them two, they put two right there, right there, right there, right there, and then so you so you put okay, so when, when, when the game starts, okay, so I'm gonna go over there and go get a Pokemon card. I get two Pokemon cards, but I'm choosing Pikachu. And then I'm getting another one. And this importantly. So I would so I would sit down the pop my card out and choose. And then when they're ready, you put it in the middle. It should be in the center, side to side. And look at and look at the power, and then they battle. So this person would win because it does 200, so or 210, 200. Pikachu does Pikachu V does um 200 damage. This one, this card, however you pronounce it, does 210. So this one will win. And then you do however many more rounds they feel like doing, or however many rounds to the recite. And then, so if I, so if I didn't want to, so if I, so I, if I was scared to put put my Pokemon card in because I know I would lose, I would go, I would flip this, my card is this, I would win. They win. Then they win. So that's another one for this guy. And me and Pikachu would lose. And that's how you would. That's how you would play the game. But if you were confused what these are for, these are for, these are like you put you like you put Pokemon cards right there. You put your Pokemon cards right there. Like like, like ones that you're gonna use next and next and next. So if you use about two Pokemon cards, then you put one prize card. And then you, and then the prize card is it says take a prize card and put it into your hand when you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon card. So when you knock it out, you put in the prize card so you could use that till the end of the game. And then you have to hand that back. I, was, I got wrong on the um, prize card. I thought it was something else. So now they might be wrong. Why does it have to be caught? Why does it have to be decorated? So cool or right, that's an easy question. Now, now let's say, now let's say what can, what you, you what, what you can do during during your turn. Beginning of, beginning of your turn, draw a card. You must do do this at the beginning of every turn. Of every turn, put blasted Pokemon onto the bench as you may what want. Once attack one energy card to to put one Pokemon only once per turn. Four.
Ritz. Okay, I don't know the word. Ritz. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I have no clue. I'm just going to go with. Uh, you'll activate Pokemon cards. Evolve Pokemon. Okay. So you would use something that would evolve your Pokemon to. Okay. So if I use this and I lost, I could use this and turn it into a DX. I could use I could use that one. I, okay. So I have so if I had a trainer, this those things that make it into a GX, I could turn this into a GX. But this would still probably win. So on Eevee, there's a card that um almost is. Um, a hun a hun it does 180 damage, but it does, but it's not, but it's not even a V. So I'm confused, like, why can they make it into a V? So, okay, so this, this card pile, when, when one of your Pokemon is knocked out, put it, and all it, eight card, Attacks, attacks card here face up. Trainer cards also go here after you play them. So like if I had a trainer card and I played them in the game, if I do that, yeah. So you, I would put it in the displayable card, this card. Okay, so the bench is for card that you're gonna use next. And then what these attack cost cost and attack damage that's where you, that's where you put them it, when you're when you're about to use them. And then their name should be about right on that black dot. That black that black dot right here. It should the name should be right there. And then Hit boy. It says it should be right here, but yeah. Blaster. I guess it's supposed to say blaster. But it literally says blaster. The gray part says blaster. Pikachu. And I never go pronounce this. This guy will probably win by by just looking at by just looking at the power. The power should be on the bottom right corner. If it's not, just check everywhere. If it doesn't say um how much power it does, that that it does the same amount as power as it just damage. And then that's it. Never a log I show you. And then the deck is for, is when you draw a card, take the top, take the top from the stack of cards. So, that's all I had to show y'all today. Next week, I'm gonna, next week, I'm going to be talking about the small white part jar. And, see ya.